So today I am doing a monthly favorites for you guys, an April favorites, and as you can see, we have a special guest with us today. You guys saw her in my most recent rat cage tour video, but this is Hope, and she is the very first favorite of this month. I just got her recently. And <laughs> and so I figured that I would include her in this little monthly favorites video. So currently I do have Hope and I have Trixie. Trixie is in the cage right now, but I wanted to show Hope. There she is. Look at how cute. I just love her so much. She is a sweetie. She is a little Siamese. She's a little over a year old and she's got beautiful red eyes. And as you can see, she is just a sweetie and she has done so, so, so well. Okay, you're gonna go down my shirt. I'm not wearing a shirt under this hoodie. Oh girl, oh girl, oh girl, not today. Not, not, <laughs> not today, okay? We can play a little more like that later, but not right now, cause mommy's filming, okay? So sh her and Trixie are doing really, really well together. They love each other, they cuddle a lot and yeah, she's just a really, really good, <laughs> a really, really good girl. Let's show them your face. Look at that little face. <laughs> she's just so cute. Okay, that's too much stress on her right now, so I'm going to put her back. Now with that little distraction out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to my other favorites. Uh, there's only a couple. I really don't have a lot of individual things to talk to you guys about today, but a couple of the items are a little bit more detailed, like Hope. And um, this hoodie that I'm wearing, obviously, uh, is a favorite. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I've been posting pictures wearing this thing like crazy. I have literally been living in this hoodie. This is the new Sisters Apparel James Charles sisters repeat hoodie and this is the lavender one this is the extra small to give you guys an idea and i am five foot zero so it kind of gives you guys an idea of how kind of big they are and keep in mind i am fairly larger chested as well and it is still pretty loose on me this one is different i also have the pink one and this one is different in the fact that it's thicker than the past ones that I've had before. You can see it is totally fleece lined and it is just so cozy and warm. Even though it is springtime here, we still get like 30 degree weather at night right now. Like spring just needs to hurry it up because, oh, I just stabbed myself in the eye. Spring just needs to hurry it up because I'm just sitting here freezing my tail off. But luckily I ordered this and I was so concerned that I ordered it at the wrong time and that it was just gonna be too hot to wear it until like the fall. Was I wrong because I have been living in this thing since it came in the mail. Then another long sleeve that I have that has been a favorite that I also was living in until I got this one. This is a Disneyland California Adventure long sleeve. And the reason this is in my favorites now and it wasn't in my Disneyland haul when I did that video is because I didn't buy this during my trip in the park. My sister went to the parks after I did during spring break with her family and I asked her if she would be able to pick this up for me because I had regrets not getting it when I was there. And so she was able to find it and she picked it up for me, but I just love how it has the rides on it. And it is just so magical. And I think it says discover the magic on the bottom. And as you can see, it has the California Adventure rides on it as well. But I just love how like the castle is just like fry front right and center like right in the front so when I take selfies and stuff like the little castle is peeking out right there and I just think it's so cute and then you can see on the arm right here it says Disneyland just like so and then it has kind of like a little Mickey compass of some sort on the back but it is really 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 cute and I think this was like 40 dollars or something 40 45 dollars in the parks and I again this thing is fleece lined and it's cozy and I just I lived in this when she got it for me and then once I got this one in the mail I started wearing this one all the time instead anyway so those are both favorites then my next favorite is this one is kind of a favorite it's borderline favorite I actually only used this a couple times um, and one time was on Easter Sunday I wore this with my irregular choice 
thumper shoes that I have that, that looked really, really cute. There are pictures on my Instagram. Go look at them. But this bag I got at Payless. And unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, all Payless shoe stores are going out of business. So go to yours while you can because I picked this up at my local Payless. It is a Christian Sirianu bag. Christian Sirianu is one of my favorite Project Runway designers. And I have quite a few. Um, I have another purse, one of his Payless purses. And then I have a couple pair of shoes that he had done for Payless as well. But this bag just screamed spring to me. And the reason it's kind of a borderline favorite is because I love like the bright colors of it. I love the spring aspect of it. I love the style so much. I love how you get the long shoulder strap and then the two here. And then it's just sectioned beautifully inside. There's a middle section zippers and then there's the front compartment back compartment and then a back pouch as well and I love the structure of this bag it is like the perfect size for me it's a amazing the only thing I don't like about this bag is all of the green color on it and I know I know I know I'm being picky I'm just being snooty at this point but the green kind of throws me off a little bit and it's funny because when I first saw this bag in store I had to get it like I had to have it because it was a Christian and I was so excited and it was beautiful and it was pink and purple and blue and frilly and spring and then when it was sitting in my room that night I couldn't stop looking at it and I just felt uneasy about it like I had regrets buying it because of all of the green that it has on it and I know like I said that's not something to be that's not something to complain about like it's just a color preference but I don't know you guys might see this go up on my Poshmark within the next few months or so might the green is just a little too overpowering for me but I did want to include it in this video just to let you guys know that you could probably expect to see it pop up on my Poshmark soon ish along with a couple other handbags but definitely yeah check out my Poshmark I did get the matching wallet to this and I have kept it and have used it every single day since I got it um so I will be keeping the wallet but they were separate purchases they didn't come together uh so yeah there is that bag let me know what you guys think down in the comments below is it a hit or a miss do you like all of the green in it or does it kind of throw it off a little I only have two more things and the one thing that I'm going to talk about right now is has helped me so much. Oh my gosh, I didn't know, like, this was kind of gimmicky to me at first, but I have a story. I have a little backstory here. So when my mom had her last knee surgery, she was getting ready to be put under, and she was getting all prepped, getting her IV in, everything like that, and one of the nurses came in and taped something to her shirt and said that it was going to help with her nausea, it was aromatherapy, and it's proven to help doctors with their patients uh, overcome nausea after surgery, after being under anesthesia, and things like that, and it like really like confused me, because I was like, oh, does that actually work? Like, does that really actually work? Because normally we have to give her additional medication to help with the nausea, like in her IV. So after she comes out of surgery, she's not pukey. And she just taped this. She's like, yeah, we're not going to give you alternative medicine. Just, we'll put this on your shirt and then you'll just smell it while you're in surgery and when you come out of surgery and you won't be sick. I'm just like, okay, like what's in that stuff? She told us the name of it and I got online and I found... This little, they call it like a, they call it an aromatherapy inhaler. And basically what it is, is just this little tube and you twist the lid open and it just opens like so. So you can see these little slits right here. And whatever is holding the scent is like a little sponge right here at the top. And you literally just smell it. And this is called Queez Ease. And they have several different versions of this. I ordered this one off of eBay and it was almost $20. You can also find them at places like Walmart. I think Walgreens has them. Um, basically places like drugstores and things like that. But all it is literally is just peppermint, spearmint, lavender, and ginger essential oils for inhalation use only. So you don't consume this. You're not taking any medications. You literally just 
smell it. If you feel nauseous or you feel pukey or you just feel gross, they also have some for expecting mothers to help with morning sickness that you can literally just smell in the mornings and it's supposed to kind of like make your nausea subside and just go away. And this has actually helped me a lot and I don't know if it's kind of like a placebo effect type thing where it's all just in my head and I just think it's gonna work so it works but for me personally this has worked there has been three or four times since I got this and after you open it they say that it's good for uh, six months from the date that it is open so you get quite a bit of use out of it especially if you're someone who gets car sick or motion sick easily and you're always traveling or things like that this is a good investment um, I did take it on my Disneyland trip but I didn't feel the need to use it when I was flying I didn't feel sick or nauseous this time uh, I have been feeling nauseous a couple times like at home here and there just off and on and I will just sit there on the couch or something and just like be smelling this and then within like five or ten minutes like my nausea will subside i think one night i got food poisoning or it was like borderline food poisoning because i felt so gross after i ate dinner and i just sat there and smelled this for like 10 15 minutes straight and like i didn't end up throwing up it actually helped me quite a bit which is amazing so i totally believe in this stuff again i don't know if that's like just my brain playing games with me but let me know if you've ever tried uh one of these essential oil inhalers to help with nausea and let me know how it went for you again this is just queeze ease spelled just like so you can get it on amazon or ebay or you can get it places like walmart okay now the last thing i have to talk about is Da, 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 da. Oh, my new laptop I had posted on Twitter that I was gonna be getting a new laptop because mine was just slow it was slow going I paid I think $700 for my past laptop that I had it was an HP pavilion and it had like a 15 inch screen or something like that it was either 15 or 18 and it was heavy and it was really like big and obscure and I loved that thing for the first while that I had it I fell in love with it it worked really really well and then I upgraded to Windows 10 and then it started getting kind of laggy and lately it's just my video editor has been so choppy it's just I needed to invest in a laptop that had a faster processor in it due to my HD video content that I put out. And I had looked at a ton of computers, <laughs> like online, in person, I went to Best Buy, I played around with quite a few, and I was originally going to get a desktop. I was originally going to get an HP desktop or a Mac, um, but... I had always dreamed of having a Mac or like a MacBook, MacBook Pro, and I had always dreamed of getting one of those because all the best YouTubers use MacBooks to edit their videos and they always turn out so good and I always hear such great stories. But on the other end of the spectrum, I always hear horror stories about uh, MacBooks breaking and how expensive they are to get fixed and this, that, and da 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 da. I've always run HP. I've always used an HP laptop and I will tell you right now that like the brand itself is good but depending on how you how much you pay for a computer is definitely going to weigh heavily on the performance of the device. If you pay 200 bucks for a laptop you're going to get a $200 laptop. If you pay $2,000 for a laptop you're going to get a $2,000 laptop and uh, as like as guilty as this is for me to say like I literally paid two grand for this computer which I could have paid less than that to get a MacBook but but this fits my needs more than a MacBook would I have never used a Mac so I have to get used to a completely different layout and everything and different operating system and all of that jazz yes cool I can Bluetooth my photos from my phone to my computer and it'd be easier that way but I can actually do that on here too so it's not that big of a deal but before I get any further into this this sticker right here is from Alex Strangler or Strangler on Instagram I will leave her link down below so here is my wallpaper I got going on right now it's just a collage of pictures that I made uh, but I really wanted a computer that don't freak out I'm warning you right now 
Don't freak out. Don't have a mini heart attack. I really wanted a computer that would turn into a tablet. So this thing is huge for one. It doesn't look that big on camera, but it really is like, it's like, like three of my faces. Um, but this, this is so freaking cool. And like it has Netflix pre-programmed into it and everything. So I can like go on the internet and I can just go to YouTube and I can just literally just scroll through YouTube on this huge ass tablet and it's so freaking cool. Anyway, and then I could just like click on something. Hey Molly Burke, what's up girl? And then you could literally just like make it full screen. And I love this because you can kind of tilt it like this or you can have it like a normal laptop and it like converts and it's so cool and it actually came with like a stylus pin so that I can do digital art on here and everything. And I'm so excited, it has everything that I wanted and the battery life on this thing is so good. To give you guys a little bit of an idea, if I were to film a 10 minute video, okay? It takes me, you know, 15, 20 minutes to film, but editing on my old computer, because it's so choppy and it glitched so much, uh, it would literally take me like two hours just to edit the 10 minute video and then to export it, to save it into my computer after editing, because you have to save the file. After I did that, it would take two to three hours just to save, just to export. And then I would go through the 30 to 40 minute upload process, uploading the video to YouTube. With this, I kid you not, I can film, edit, save or export and upload a video, a 10 minute video in under an hour. Like, it's so cool. Like exporting literally takes five to 10 minutes. Like it is so freaking fast. And thank you, new processor. This is only a core i5 processor. I wanted to opt for the i7, but it was like a $500, $600 difference. So I just settled for the i5, but it's running, um, I think 2.4 gigahertz and it just, it's so fast and I just love it so much. And I highly, highly recommend recommend this computer so 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 much so far especially if you are getting it for video editing I use Adobe Premiere Pro it operates beautifully on this device I love it so much and also because it is a tablet you can see you can see it is also touch screen when it is not in tablet mode so like you can literally go through and scroll through things I'm gonna I'm gonna exit. But um, yeah, you can go through and do everything. It is amazing because I used this when I did my taxes and I was able to just like scroll on the screen and like, ugh. the only time I had to touch the keyboard was when I was typing something in. But other than that, I could do all of the scrolling and everything, just touching the screen. And it was so fast and so beautiful and so amazing. Um, also, yes, I do have a Hello Kitty sticker right here covering the webcam because I'm one of those people that believes government is watching every move. So yeah, there's that. I know that's very controversial and it's just a conspiracy, but uh, I, I'm, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I cover that. Uh, the only thing is, is the webcam is not great. <laughs> it's a really poor quality webcam. The only other thing that this does not have is a CD drive or a disk drive. Uh, it does have ports for USB and it also has a port for uh, SD cards or memory cards from cameras. So that is great. And I just love this thing so much. Oh my gosh, it is just so good. It's kind of heavy, just be more aware of that. It is it's not super lightweight. I make it look that way though. I didn't even tell you guys the name of this computer. What the heck? It's, it's name is the HP ZBook Studio X360 G5 Mobile Workstation. So just like this. But again, I will post the direct Amazon link to it down below. You guys can totally shop it and get it if you're looking for a new computer. Again, they do have this one that is the i5 core processor, but they also have the i7, which is a tad bit more expensive, but I think it has uh, more space as well on it. This is what we're working with for future videos, and hopefully maybe I'll learn some editing tips and tricks and apply them to my 
future content. Sorry, that kind of took long. I know that a lot of you were really interested in this, though. I don't want to give it its own video for whatever reason. If you guys really want to see like an in-depth video about it, I could try to do that, but I basically just wanted to mention it briefly here or as briefly as possible while still giving, you know, detailed explanations and everything like I normally do. It's amazing and I'm so happy I bought it and I, I love it! Anyway, with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up so I know to do more monthly favorites. Let me know what your favorite product was that I showed in this video. Mine is Hope because she's not a product. She's, well, she's a product of God, but you know what I mean. She's an angel. She's a sweetie. Let me know if you like her down below. And if you don't like her, too bad because she's mine and I'm giving her all the love she needs and she doesn't need your negativity in her life. So with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and go and I will talk to you all in my next video I'm getting delusional I had such a long day and oh my gosh okay I need to go before I just ah. so until next time so long stay strong stay true and be you all right